What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your girl's channel. It's your girl, Nay Nay. And welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me. I'm not really much of a loud speaker. I'm actually a soft-spoken person. But anyway, I miss you guys so much. I hope you guys miss me. Um, before I go any further into the video, I want to say... Shout out to the OGs that's been sticking there and, you know, sticking with me throughout this journey because I know I haven't been uploading like I used to, but I want to say thank you. I love y'all and shout out to my new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. I love y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for, mm -mm, thank y'all for joining the BB Nation. BB is Beanie Babies because my nickname, one of my other nicknames that my older sister gave me is Beanie. She calls me Beanie. So y'all are my Beanie Babies and I love y'all so much. So shout out to the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. Um, here, as the OGs already know, you're going to get real, raw, uncut, unedited videos. <laughs> Um, sometimes I may act silly, sometimes I might be serious or whatever, but I know I've been going for a minute, but I'm back, and today, I'm switching it up a little bit, uh, I'm doing a cooking video, but I'm going to follow it with a mukbang, so I'm y'all going to see the cooking video, and then later on, y'all going to see me eating it, so today... I'm going to let y'all see me make spaghetti, okay? Usually I don't put my stuff out there, but I'm going to be nice. And I'm going to let y'all see how I make spaghetti, what I put in it, what seasonings I use, and all that. So, bear with me also because if you're a real supporter and you know I had broke my foot uh, back in February. But as you can see... I'm walking now. I'm back, y'all. God is good. Um, but right now, I just got back from a staycation. Um, me and my sister and my baby, we went to a hotel for a few days. You know, I had to just get out of the house, clear my mind, and get off the couch. Um, it was hurting my body. But my knee been acting up. So if y'all, well, y'all not going to see me walking because my phone going to be put down. But... My left knee has been acting up, you know, so bear with me, but let's get into it. So I will be posting some more cooking videos. Hopefully y'all like it anyway, but if you are new here, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, share, and don't be afraid to comment. Don't be afraid to speak. I always, I always, always reply to every single comment. I don't get a lot of comments, but I do reply to all of them. Any of my subscribers can tell you that. Any of my real subscribers can tell you that. I reply to every, <laughs> every uh, comment, whether I like it, whether... You know, it'd be a short little message or something. I always say something. All right, so right here I have my pan. Um, it does have butter in it. Yes, beef makes its own meat. But um, I don't know if I'm going to put the whole thing. But right here I have ground beef chuck, 80% um, lean, 20% fat. And then we're going to go over here. So I'm about to show y'all what I put in my spaghetti. So this right here, the sweet baby rice barbecue sauce is hanging upside down because, you know, got to, got to get down here. But you don't put a lot. You put enough. You don't want to put it to where though to the point you can taste it. Just put enough. Then, I don't know about y'all, but I like extra tomatoes. I love tomatoes. So I put extra tomatoes in my spaghetti. 
but I'm going to drain these. I'm going to drain these first. I'm using elbow. I'm not using spaghetti noodle. I'm using elbow. Got to have my ragu chunky. So this also has chunks of tomatoes in there. When I tell y'all I love tomatoes, I love tomatoes. So this has chunks of tomatoes in it as well. Same one. Just a small size. Then we have... Let me make sure I get y'all right. There we go. Paprika. Adobo. I know this says paprika, but it's not paprika. It's actually this. Sazon. Goya Sazon. You can never go wrong with this seasoning and this one. If anything, these, them two, that's all you need. And then I have my black pepper. And then, of course, my black people already know the sugar. Gots to have the sugar. Okay? I do it for two reasons. I put sugar in my spaghetti for two reasons. One, to cut down the acidic from all the tomatoes. And then for the sweetness. <laughs> Sometimes I will put brown sugar as well. But I used up all the brown sugar. So, yeah. Alright, we're gonna cut this on. And then, don't worry, I already, I already washed my hands. We're gonna open this up. Open that bad boy up. I got this right here. So, lay right here. So when I season, you know, you hit the plastic. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Get my season. Get my season. Come on, slap it. First I start with the adobo. Oh! I forgot another ingredient that I put. Hold on. peppers y'all I put in my spaghetti so good you know onions onions and peppers do give food a lot of flavor if you don't know now you know so we're gonna season this bad boy season him up real good And what we're going to do is, we're going to take our clean hands. Sorry about that, y'all. We're going to take our clean hands. And kind of like, mash it up in there. Mash it up in there. Ooh, ooh. I got some meat, y'all. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move that meat that's already seasoned. Go again, because mind you, you didn't get all of it. You only got the top. So make sure you go back and season it all. Usually I'll put it in a bowl and season it, but I'm not wasting dishes. Thank 
Perfect. Black pepper. And again, we are going to mix this in, incorporate it. All right. And now, put it in the pan. Try to break it up as you put it in there. Because you don't want it clumpy. You don't want it clumpy. Break it up, break it up. Get the meat that's all on the plastic. And this is two pounds. Well, this is two, two point twenty-five pounds of ground beef. I like a lot of meat. I like a lot of meat in my spaghetti. Got it already in there. Let it get going. And then I'm going to wash my hands. Because I got to put it all in my mouth. Alright. I'm about to put my seasons up. Uh oh. Add a little bit more. Don't worry, y'all. I know how to season my stuff, so no, it won't be salty. And then, while that's cooking, I'm going to open this up. Alright. 
you want to pour some of that in there because you want your meat and the onions and peppers you want to get the onions and peppers you want to get that flavor in there with that meat so put it in there while the meat is cooking not after the meat cooks but while the meat cooks And then what we're going to do is, carefully, yes, Danny. yes, sir, until you have incorporated all the onions and pepper within the meat. Make sure you get this up. If y'all could just smell. Uh-oh. If y'all could just smell. peppers and then all the seasoning and as you guys can see it's browning we still got some pink in there how now all the onions and peppers are incorporated in there that's what you want that's what you want over here and now I'm gonna turn that this way and now I'm going to get my pot for my I do not measure out how much water, just like I don't measure out my seasoning. I don't measure anything when it comes to cooking. I don't. I I I I, I my stuff. Um. So we're gonna get that going.
put it on high so we can get a boil going. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not put oil in your water. I had to not learn the hard way, but I realized if you put water in, if you put oil in your water for your noodles, whatever sauce you're using is not really going to stick to the noodles so make sure you put salt in your water not a lot but enough so now i don't know about butter because i don't know if People put butter in their water. I've never done it, but you know. Sorry, y'all, it's meat fail. Don't worry, my stove is clean. I cleaned it last night. There we go. Still got some pink. But we get in there, y'all. Again, if you see clumps of me, kind of chop it up. Kind of chop it up. So we're waiting for this to boil. All right, I'm gonna come back when, after I drain my meat and then I'm gonna add everything else. Stay tuned. Alright y'all, so we back at it again. Meat is drained. So now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> open up my can of those tomatoes, drain it. Okay. 
add our tomato. Try to drain it because you don't want all that juice in there because see all that juice in there you don't want all that in your meat because spaghetti sauce you don't want your stuff too saucy unless you like your stuff that way don't get me wrong I like my spaghetti saucy but not that saucy So try to drain it if you can. Again, whatever your preference is. I love tomato, y'all. Like, I can eat a whole tomato by itself. Tomatoes are just very flavorful. If you don't eat tomato soup with your grilled cheese, you're tripping. You tripping. Tripping, tripping. Turn this back up. I had the flame on low because I was draining it. your flame back up again mix uh oh man down got a pile of meat all right so incorporate incorporate Mix all your tomatoes in there. Careful. I don't want your meat to keep falling over more. Alright, so now that your tomatoes are fully incorporated, so your pasta,
Just a little bit. Uh-oh. My hand is wet. Just a little bit. Again, you don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit. You let that, you know, sit, marinate, cook all together. Lower your heat if you have to, but let that cook together. There you go, so they don't stick. And then I'll be back when I add the sauce. And probably when the noodles are done. I don't know. But I'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. I'm back. So my pasta is done. Rinse your pasta off with cold water and it'll stop cooking. Pasta is done. I'm short, y'all, so I gotta use you gotta use something to get this down. 
Там взять бы. All right, you guys. Now, again, your ragu garden combination. Now, it's up to you on whatever kind of spaghetti sauce you want to use. I always, always, always always use ragu i do not use any other um brand of spaghetti sauce always ragu and if i make alfredo ragu and i always get that kind the the garden combination. I always get that. Always, 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 always. Got some spillage. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm going to have to do something here. I'm going to have to transfer it over to this pot because this pan is too small. I got to clean this right before. All right, turn your flame back on. All right, you guys are not gonna be able to see inside the pot, but you already know what's in it.
Now again, well not again, but for black people, we do it all the time. Put a little bit of water in here, get that extra, get that excess sauce that's in there. Even though technically I really don't need to do it because I got a whole another jar of sauce over here. I actually might not use it because I might not need it. This jar is like, I don't know if y'all can see it. This says two pounds. So. Which, I mean, I have two pounds of meat. This is two pounds of meat. So. Is that a mix? And now, what you're going to do is, <clears throat> let that boil, but you're going to take your sugar and pour, and pour. I know y'all like, dang, that's a lot of sugar. Well, it's a lot of meat. There's a lot of sauce. And again, like I said, I don't, I don't measure my stuff. My seasons and everything. I eye it. Add as much as you like. Again, it's your preference, your taste buds. Let that boil. And then I'll be back when I put it all together. Alright guys, we're back with the final, 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 final uh, step. Now we're going to put it all together. Put it in this container so we can eat it later. So, what we're going to do is put some of the meat sauce at the bottom. I usually layer, layer it, but I don't think I'm going to. And when I say layer, I say, I mean like meat, noodles, meat, noodles, but I think I'm going to just stir it all together. Alright, now in here, I'm going to put the rest of the noodles in here, that way it's easier to stir, okay? So stir here in the container. Hopefully all this fits in this container. Um, okay, then go here and then you stir this. No 
oil and sauce. I know you can't see it, but it looks and smells delicioso. All right. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like before I transfer it over into um, the container. Some would call it, well, no, I'm, I wouldn't say that. I say it's kind of like goulash, but just there's no cheese on top. And that's not what I was going for. I just wanted spaghetti, just not with the spaghetti noodles. So, I wanted to show you the finished product. That is my spaghetti. Smells delicious. So now I'm about to pour this into this. Thank you. I love y'all. Stay tuned for my videos. Um, I'm about to chill. Let this cool down so I can put it in the refrigerator. Eat my salad for lunch. I was thinking about recording that, but I'm not going to. I don't think y'all want to watch me eat a salad. So, I'll see y'all later. Love you.